Now that I've got uh, my phase four over, I can go back and fill in my phase three, right? So we can use our phase two to help us find out where we planned our ORP. And we've got phase four to help us with where people need to end up. Um, so that's kind of where we start from. We can lay these out onto our map. Could do this not on the map and just use a white background and just then it would line up with the overlay. But I like to see the map behind it uh, to make sure that I get things straight. I've got my blank overlay on top. And the first thing I want to do is mark off those grid marks so that I have those to check as I'm drawing. Come over here, seven, four, seven, six. All right, so I've got my overlay here. I need to show in phase three, where's my ORP? Because that's what I'm starting from. All right, and then I'm gonna need to show my assault position because that's what first squad is gonna move to. So here is my assault position, and I need to show um, that we've got these support by fire positions uh, down here, all right, along the flats. So in this, they're not conducting a support by fire. This is just a position. So we've got a support by fire position over here, all right. Now this four squad, uh, in order to do their interdiction mission, they're right along the line. Oh, I can actually still see some of my boundary line that was on my um, earlier map. So if they want to interdict this, I give them a nice high spot. So look, there's a hilltop right here. And I'm going to go ahead and make that their observation point to um, see uh, where they're going. All right. Um, Okay, so I've got that critical information on here all aligned with my earlier phases. So I can get the phases out of the way. All right, so here's my ORP that I'm starting at. I need to show how do we get to these positions. Now this observation post, I don't want them to be seen. They're not just gonna go straight there. So I look at the map. Hey, there's a nice draw back this way. They can circle around. And I'm gonna show that I want them to go back up around this draw and then come right in along the boundary into that position. All right. Now from the ORP to our support by fire position is just going to be a straight movement. We'll just, just get there and um, coming down into our assault position. I want a little more space here. So I'm going to make this a smaller uh, circle. All right, because I'm going to show this. That's my primary thing, so I want it to be a double arrow. All right, so now I can see all the motion that happens. We come from the ORP, someone goes to this OP, someone goes to assault position, someone goes to support by fire positions. And then we'd be set for the attack. That's what's happening in this um, phase. And I need to show all of those units, um, what they're doing. Now that, I can just you know use the space I've got. So... I can come over here. All right, we got lots of space on this overlay. So first squad to alpha is going to go into the assault position. All right, and then over here, I've got second squad. And I that's a bit Got third squad. They are grouped together and go into the support by fire. And then up over here, I can show fourth squad or weapon squad. And they are in this observation point. All right. Now, the last thing um, that you need to make sure that you always put onto this phase three is what are we doing for a leader's recon? Um, so if, now in this case, let's say maybe we're gonna go to this observation point. We're gonna use the same observation point because we think we can see onto the objective from there. 
you know that that works uh, just make sure that you've you've thought that out and you make it clear that that's not just fourth squad's position that is also the leader's recon maybe fourth squad goes with us and then we leave them there when the rest of the leadership comes back um, you know but uh, if we weren't doing that with fourth squad we still have to include uh, some kind of observation point for a recon element somewhere and have an idea what route they're taking and how to get there um, yeah so that now we just need all of our administrative data on here so looking over my phase three overlay um, the one last thing we have to include on here is a casualty collection point so if we have casualties while we're making this movement it could just be somebody stumbles and sprains an ankle and can't go on with the fight how do we get them back to the dock? And during this phase, um, the ORP is there. Uh, we probably have some soldiers guarding some gear. Dock might be back there. So I'm going to go ahead and put casualty collection point at the ORP. All right, for phase three. And now we've got a phase three overlay.